Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of this important bipartisan resolution. I want to commend Chairman Royce and Ranking Member Engel for bringing this measure forward. The United States has been committed to Ukraine's prosperity and sovereignty since it gained independence in 1991. There has never been a more critical time to reaffirm this commitment than right now. President Putin's unilateral decision to expand Russia's military operations in the Ukraine was made with the calculation that the world would, would respond with words, not deeds. He was wrong. The world must send a clear message to Russia that there will be real consequences to, the, to the, these violations of international laws. Failure to deter Russia's aggression will embolden President Putin to continue seeking illegitimate power and further threaten stability in this important region of the world. Just as importantly, failure to act would embolden bullies in other areas of the world who are no doubt watching. This resolution calls for strong action by the United States, such as suspending military, operation, military cooperation with Russia, boycotting the G8 summit, and imposing sanctions on those involved in this breach of international law. America should also take this opportunity to expand energy, energy production and energy exports, to send a clear message to the Ukraine, Russia, and our allies that America will not allow Russia to use its energy resources to intimidate the world. All these actions are necessary to show Russia and the rest of the world that the United States won't sit on the sidelines when people are being used as political pawns by so-called leaders seeking to enhance their own power by the use of force. I urge our colleagues to support this important resolution and demonstrate to friend and foe alike that America still stands for freedom and the ability of people everywhere to determine their own destiny, not have that destiny determined for them by threats, intimidation, and military might. I yield back the balance of my time.